Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Brian from Third Coast Ministries, currently down in Matagalpa, Nicaragua. And today, I'm going to show you how to start your avocado seeds in a two-liter water bottle. To do this, you will need an empty two-liter bottle, something to cut it with, and of course, an avocado seed. And I'll explain a little bit more about each one as we go. First, let's talk about the Coke bottle. So there are a couple of reasons why I specifically use the two liter Coke bottle. Uh, the first reason is if you look at the bottle or you feel it, you can feel a pretty good indention there and there. So when you end up cutting it and putting the pieces together, the way that those curve, kind of lock it in place. And, and it kind of, it helps hold everything together when you have the water and the seed in there. And the reason I use two liters is I used to use one liter water bottles, but for larger seeds, sometimes these just don't hold it right. So I just prefer to use the Coke bottles. And as I'll show you, there's a way to do it, to cut it in two different places to make different sizes. And specifically for Coke, what I've noticed here, some of the other two liter bottles or even three liter bottles they have here are almost straight smooth here. So when you put the pieces together, they don't really hold in place. So those, those are the quick reasons why I prefer to use the Coke bottle. Secondly, you need something to cut the bottle with. And I prefer to use my utility knife with a nice clean razor blade. You can use scissors, you can use a kitchen knife. Uh, don't use a serrated kitchen knife. Uh, it kind of leaves jagged edges on the plastic and they can cut your fingers. Um, so that's one reason I prefer to use a utility knife because it, it cuts smoother and you can finish the edges off to make it a little bit safer for you. Just whatever you use, Please be careful and don't cut your fingers off. All right, so the avocado seed is the last part. So I want to point out a couple things that are important. I just pulled this out of the avocado that we ate for lunch before making this video. So it still has some, some avocado on it and it has a skin on it. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to peel this before you put it in there. Because if you don't, if you leave a lot of the skin on there, it kind of rots and molds and gives you sorts of problems. And I want to point out, it's very important that you know that this part is the bottom and this part is the top. So the part where you see kind of like this sticking out is the bottom and you have to put it in a specific way. If you put it in upside down, it doesn't work. If you put it in like this, it's good. If it's leaning, whatever, it also works. But please remember, this is the bottom and this is the top. All right, so what I like to do to prepare the bottle is I start by taking off the cap and then cutting this little ring off like that remove the ring I don't think it makes a difference it's just what I do my dog used to love to, to chew on these as toys so I'd always take those off so he wouldn't choke so that's kind of I guess where that comes from and then next take off the wrapper I just give it a nice little cut with the razor blade and then peel it off like so so now you have a bottle and as you can see, it's still got a little water in there. That's okay. So before I cut it, I want to kind of show you how I make it at two different sizes. So as you can see in this one, I'm only using the, the bottom piece of it. So that is when you cut it here to start with. And I like to start them with that because I don't, I don't like to waste a lot of water. And that, that gives you enough space. Now, as this one grows, eventually your root will come down and it'll have usually a big root and a bunch of little roots and it'll start to kind of wrap around the bottom. When that happens, I take it out of the small one and I put it in one that I've made where I only cut it here. And that gives the space for the root. So always to start off with, I use these because it uses less water. And once the roots grow down and get really big, I change it to one that's this size just to give it some space. All right, so as you can see on the Coke bottle, I'm going to cut it here and here. So one important thing to note is you need to cut inside. So when you feel that curve, cut on the flat part right there. And remember, be careful and don't cut your fingers off. So once you get it started, I kind of just hold my hand with the razor blade like this. And I kind of just look and rotate the bottle slowly and cut it. This is why I like to use a nice razor blade because it gives you a nice smooth cut and it's easier to control. And when you get close to the end, sometimes it gets a little wonky on you, so just be careful. And when you finish it off, give it like that. So what I like to do is take a look at it. Be careful if you're running your fingers on there. If you have a thing, a little jagged edge, it'll cut you. So I kind of look and carefully trim it 
to make it completely even around there so here's a high spot so I'll cut that off all right so that's it for that part and now we'll come back and do the same thing with this one and when you push down it gets kind of like that so be careful that the knife doesn't slip and you cut your finger so start right there push down get it started and do the same thing just rotate the bottle take your time you don't need to be in a hurry it's not a race keep your fingers away from the razor blade and just keep rotating the bottle like so there you go and then where it finished I'll do the same thing look all right and then I'll want to get rid of that so it doesn't cut any cut anybody's fingers so there you go nice and smooth and now you can just throw this piece away all right now we have the avocado seed uh, what I recommend before peeling it is just run it under the water to get some of the avocado residue off and then peel it so I'll go rinse this off and then come back all right now that it is rinsed off we need to peel the skin off as I mentioned sometimes you'll be lucky and there'll be a nice loose section you can start with that um, I usually use my utility knife as well just be careful when you're doing it try not to carve chunks out of the avocado it will turn orange like it is bleeding so as you can see here it's kind of loose so we'll just start with that and basically just take your time it's not a rush this is supposed to be fun I do this as a hobby um, one thing I like to mention is you know there probably are faster ways you probably can just throw this in the dirt and it'll grow after doing this who knows but I use this as as a, a teaching tool in my business class that I teach down here and I called it project patience because when you're doing this it takes about three to four weeks sometimes before you see any changes in the seed when it's in the water and the students had to document changes every day and take photos so it taught it was to help teach a lesson that even though sometimes you can't see improvements or you can't see that you're growing there are still things happening in the background so as you can see this one peeled fairly easy except for this last little part so let's just be careful be careful with your fingers don't cut them and uh, sometimes they peel really easily like this sometimes they don't sometimes it takes 10 to 15 minutes to get all of it on the to get all that skin off there uh, what I recommend is peeling it pretty quickly after you've eat, eaten it if you let it sit for a day or two the skin gets really stuck on there and sometimes the seed can start to damage so and as I was saying you know there might be better ways there might be faster ways I do this because I enjoy doing it so typically I would think if you're watching this video you're probably the same way and uh, so I just do it as a just a little hobby of mine here if you haven't seen my other videos right now I have six that I started last year that are all in pots I'm waiting to graft them with a tree here that already produces good food or sorry good fruit to help them get the genetics from that tree into it so whenever I do that I'll obviously make a video um, and you know I've never done any of this before so I don't know if it works I just like I said I just kind of enjoy it I like seeing the process and and watching it and it helps me with my students and they're always interested in it too so there you go that is peeled before we put everything together I'll go rinse it off one more time and then that basically is that okay now you have your two parts of the bottle so it's as easy as just take this part set it in you'll feel it kind of click into place make sure it's even and then for the seed remember this is the bottom this part is the bottom this part is the top so place your seed in there just like that as you can see the curve of the neck cradles the seed and holds it in place and then now you just add water go slow so the water has time to fill up the bottom cavity and I'm just using tap water from here the problem here is the tap water has a lot of chlorine uh, one another project I have at the school that I'm working on right now is collecting rainwater to use for all of our agricultural product or projects so that's another project expect to see a video on that soon so as you can see I have the water about halfway up to the seed 
put a little bit more. So there you go. So I just put the water about halfway up in the seed and you can just let it sit. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know on how to start your avocado seed using a two liter soda bottle. Um, some wisdom I have just from my mistakes. Uh, I always try to keep the water about halfway up. That's what I saw in other videos. That's what I read on Google and which brings up a point. Hey, man, if you got a question, you can send it to me, but you know, I do this for a hobby, so I only kind of learn as I go, and it, it's fun. But, you know, I didn't come up with this method. I saw it on YouTube from a guy using a soda bottle. That's what I used. And then I've kind of figured out over time that the two-liter bottle seemed to work best for me. Um, one of the questions I get asked the most by students and other people is, when, when, when should you change the water? Well, what I do is I keep mine in my classroom. But classrooms here, they're open. You know, we have windows. There's no AC. So I keep them kind of in the sun on a windowsill. When the water starts to turn a little greenish, you'll see it. Hey, take it apart. That's what I like about this. Take the seat out, dump out the water, take it apart, wash it with soap and water, put it back together, fill it with fresh water. That will get rid of your algae problem. And as I mentioned, our classrooms are open air. So every time, and this is important if you keep yours outside, every time that I walk by, I flick them, each one, bam, just like that. And I look for mosquito larvae because we have a mosquito problem which causes dengue, which you can die from. So I do that. If I see a little mosquito larva swimming around, I dump out the water, put in fresh water. So that's everything I know. Check out my other videos. Uh, as I mentioned, I got six from last year that I started this same way that made it into trees that are currently in pots. I think I have six right now just like this in my classroom. And one, two with this one three here at the house. So I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, so let's grow and let's eat some avocados. Adios.